Hi, 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 it's Bernie here from sunny San Diego. And in this video, you're gonna learn everything about the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0. And also in this video, I will show you two case studies on how other customers have reaped the benefit of the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0, which is also called the Orchestrated Private Cloud. Let me recap video one. This is video two of a short sequence of three videos. Video one, I posted it a few days ago. And first things first, thank you everyone for all the comments and engagements that we got. So that was awesome. <laughs> and um, I, I re replied to everyone myself um, as promised. And it was just amazing, all that feedback and all that input that we got. So thank you for that. Let me recap video one. Video one was all about the large opportunity that's out there. We can finally have a private cloud, an Ansel private cloud that plays well with the rest of the universe, plays well in clusters, plays well with orchestration tools like Terraform, plays well with backups to the cloud, with heal to cloud, a very cool feature. I will go into depth and show you the, these two case studies. So I'm Bernie Bloom, founder and CEO of Ansel, and Ansel is the pioneer in private cloud computing. I started the company with the vision to make the private cloud accessible to anyone by making it incredibly simple. And today we have over 3,000 customers, and that's a great success. And it was only possible because of our early adopters, which I really appreciate. So thanks, everyone. I said we're making it incredibly simple, and, and there's one thing um, we've learned while we, while we did that. And what we've learned is that easy is hard. It just means making our software, our private cloud software, easy to use and simple. It's a whole lot of work because you can imagine making the private cloud simple with all the different configurations that can come up is even more difficult than making the public cloud simple. I looked into it and just in the last month, our developers made 247 commits that made the software even simpler. So if you think the world deserves a simple private cloud, please help us out by smashing the like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. It pushes our, our video to more viewers and it automatically helps our cause. So please help. What does orchestration really mean in the answer private cloud 2.0? Well, basically it revolves around three different things, four different things. Um, it's all about clustering. So in the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0, we can manage clusters. We can we can access several nodes. We uh, we can do load balancing. Um, we have a Kubernetes template that makes it easy to do all those those Kubernetes failovers and all these type of things. So that is really cool stuff. The Ansel can now play really really well in a clustered environment. Load balancing, all these things. Then we have Open API. We had the, the API before, now we made it Open API compatible. So it works well with orchestration tools like Terraform. Um, we have automated backups to the cloud, um, three different plans that include different amounts of backup space. And we have Heal to Cloud, which is a really cool thing. It means we are doing the backups automatically into the cloud. We can monitor your, your server and if your on-prem server fails, we just provision you an instance in the cloud of a dedicated server similar to your server that just failed. And we, we push the backup into that cloud unit and that cloud unit can take over. That's heel to cloud. It's very innovative and it's very cool stuff. So I promised you two case studies. Um, the first one is um, a systems integrator, international systems integrator for military applications. So what is their challenge? Um, they have to build a virtualized uh, environment with, um, with 80 plus international locations. Each location needs some semi-rugged semi servers. Racks are not always available in, in all those locations. They need redundancy, high availability and they need scriptable control so that they control their on-prem cloud in a scripted manner. So how did they reap all the benefits? Well, 
They use our clustering functionality for high availability. They use our bare metal containers to get their hardware requirements into budget because they cannot have like 12 servers in each location when three or four would do the job. But if everything needs to run on VMs and not on bare metal containers, you would need more hardware. So they were really, really happy about our bare metal containers. And um, the silent server is perfect. That rugged case that we have with, with our Ansel One XD servers. And, um, and that new open API um, compatible API was, was a real killer for them because they need to, to control everything with Terraform. Case study two, um, a mid-sized industrial parts manufacturer. They need to connect three remote offices uh, to the central IT. One of those offices has potty internet, so all apps are being mirrored to the local clusters, so they also use our clustering. When the internet is down in that one location, they can still serve the app because everything's mirrored locally. They also do high availability. They also love the bare metal containers, and, um, and they are using the automated backups and they're using the heel to cloud. And, and actually that was a, a big requirement of theirs. So this function we actually built on a customer request. Um, so we love listening to our customers, learning from it and, and coming up with solutions. I'd like to talk about a few objections that I've heard in the comments and, and, um, and questions that we got. One question is, are the backups secure? And the answer is we put our best effort in there to use the latest encryption technologies to make it 100% um, airtight. We even optionally have the possibility that, that we have end-to-end -end encryption, so the, the backups are being encrypted locally before we send them to the cloud, and, and you can give your own um, passphrase that only you know, so we have that zero knowledge capability, which is basically the best you can have with, with privacy for your backups. Second question I've heard um, a lot, is the API feature complete? Because if you want to remote control your private cloud environment, your on-prem environment, it's important for you that the API supports all the functionalities that are actually there. And we're proud to announce that we're a 100% feature complete. It's all API, open API compatible. And we use that awesome Swagger um, tool so just use Swagger so you can explore the API um, in your web browser and see what's possible there. So that was video number two. There is a third video coming, so watch out for it. Um, and in the third video, I'll give you a detailed tour through the software. So you will actually see some screencasts on how it really works. You're gonna have the full ownership experience, so to say. And um, it also will contain a very special offer for you and um, that just makes sense for us as a company. This launch of the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0 is a big thing for us. It's probably the, 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 the biggest day in our history so far. It makes a lot of sense to get early momentum to get things started. So we're going to give a big discount to those of you who made it through the three videos and are, are going to become early adopters. And that is an offer that, that obviously we cannot keep up we, in the future, right? It's something that happens you know, once every few years when we have a large event like the Answer Private Cloud 2.0 launch. Video number three is coming, uh, don't miss it. And the best way to not miss it is um, subscribe to the video down below. Also hit the bell notification so YouTube will notify you when, when the new video is uploaded. Please comment down below and um, see you next time and see you in the comments.